In this video, I am telling you how to treat acne in 2024 according to the most up-to-date evidence-based guidelines. So when you finish watching this video, you will understand the total evidence-based options available for treating acne and how we as dermatologists approach your acne treatment. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, the budget dermatologist. I help make skincare simple for you and I teach you how to fix your skin without breaking the bank please subscribe to my channel if this resonates with you and come say hi on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist. There are so many amazing acne products that are accessible to you without a prescription, so let's have a little fun first. Check out this new solution for your pimples from The Inky List, the Hydrocolloid Invisible Pimple Patches. The Inky List sent this to me and are sponsoring this portion of the video. These patches are really unique to me because they are more invisible on the skin than any other patches that I have tried. They have Invisibler technology that helps the patch instantly blur the appearance of the pimple underneath. They are ultra thin and ultra matte and that allows it to blend in all skin tones so that they are undetectable. This patch is made of hydrocolloid, which is a hyperabsorptive material that draws the gunk out of the pimple it also has salicylic acid, which penetrates into the acne pore to unplug it so the gunk can come out. Succinic acid is also in this patch that can improve redness. And ectoin will soothe blemish-prone skin. Make sure you apply this to clean, dry skin directly after cleansing. Leave the pimple patch on for at least four hours or overnight to help clear up your acne fast. A box of these is only $9.00 for 22 patches in two different sizes. I have these linked in the description of this video along with some of my other favorite results-driven acne solutions from the Inky List. So you can check those out in the description. Now let's fix your acne the 2024 way according to the most up-to-date evidence. Please note that these guidelines are for people aged nine years old and older for the treatment of acne vulgaris, not other types of acne or acne-like eruptions. Now, when we think of acne treatment, there are many categories of treatments to consider, and these include topical treatments, both over-the-counter and prescription, systemic antibiotics, hormonal agents, isotretinoin, physical modalities, complementary and alternative medicines, dietary changes, and environmental interventions. So what does the evidence say about each of these categories in 2024? Let's get into it. According to these guidelines, there are only five acne treatments that are strongly recommended based on evidence and efficacy. These five treatments are number one, benzoyl peroxide. And there's great news here because you can get benzoyl peroxide over the counter without a prescription. And it is one of the most effective acne treatments proven in studies that exists out there. You can get this in strengths up to 10%, again, right over the counter. Typically, you find benzoyl peroxide in products like face cleansers, body washes, and leave-on creams. This is an amazing acne treatment because it kills bacteria that cause acne on the skin without causing bacterial resistance, and this is key. I am linking some of my favorite benzoyl peroxide products right in the description of this video. The second acne treatment recommended with strong evidence is a topical retinoid. So if you can only use one acne medication, and you should not just use one, you should use more, but if you could just use one, this is the one. A topical retinoid is the premier acne treatment because they are, number one, comedolytic. That means it's going to get rid of your whiteheads and blackheads. Two, they are anti-inflammatory. Three, they improve dispigmentation so they can give you a more even skin tone. And four, it helps you maintain clear skin after you clear your acne long term. There are four types of topical retinoids that are FDA approved for acne treatment. I will list them here. Of these four, only adapalene is available over the counter in the US without a prescription and the strength of 0.1%. The others will require a prescription. I will link adapalene in the description of this video. It is cheap and it is one of the most effective, best all around acne treatments that you can get. The third acne treatment that is strongly recommended based on evidence is a topical antibiotic. Examples of topical antibiotics for the treatment of acne include topical erythromycin, clindamycin, minocycline, and dapsone. These are going to work through both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. The key here is that these should not be used alone as monotherapy, 
because there is a risk of bacterial resistance. So if you use a topical antibiotic, it should be combined with another treatment like benzoyl peroxide to reduce the risk of this resistance. You need a prescription for a topical antibiotic. The fourth acne treatment with strong recommendation based on the evidence is oral doxycycline. This is an antibiotic that you can take by mouth. You will need a prescription for this. This works by being both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. There is a strong recommendation for this treatment for acne because studies show that the benefits of this treatment outweigh the risks and the burden for most patients in most circumstances. Now, with that said, oral antibiotics do come with more risks and they are recommended to limit their use to the very short term. And treatment number five is isotretinoin. This is strongly recommended for severe acne, acne causing psychosocial burden or scarring of the skin, or acne that is failing standard treatment with oral and topical therapy. I will acknowledge that isotretinoin is a controversial medication. Discussing the full scope of this medication is really outside of the scope of this video. I am simply reporting on the guidelines and recommendations in the literature. Now, isotretinoin is a prescription medication that requires an extensive discussion on the risks versus benefits before starting therapy. It can be extremely effective at clearing severe acne. So these are the five treatments for acne that have the strongest support for being effective such that their benefits outweigh their risks. Benzoyl peroxide, topical retinoids, topical antibiotics, oral doxycycline, and isotretinoin. And these cover three of the categories of acne treatments. Now, what about some of these other topical and oral medications for acne beyond just those five I just mentioned? Yes, there are others that work and do have support, which this paper defines as conditional recommendations, meaning that the risk and benefits of these other treatments are a little more balanced than the previous five I just mentioned. These include, number one, salicylic acid. You can get this over the counter and strengths up to 2%. There is evidence showing that salicylic acid reduces inflammatory and comedonal acne. I will link some of my favorite salicylic options in the description. Two, azelaic acid. You can get this over the counter up to 10% or higher with a prescription. Azelaic acid helps reduce acne lesions and it can have a lightening effect on pigmentation of the skin. I will link a few options for azelaic acid in the description of this video. Three, a topical hormonal agent, clascoterone, which is an anti-androgen that shows improvement in acne, though it is not as easily accessible due to high cost at this time. Four, oral minocycline. It is another antibiotic. Studies show that it can improve acne, but it has a bit more concern with some rare potential adverse effects. Five, oral Saracycline, also known to improve acne, but it's again, not as accessible due to high cost. Six, combined oral contraceptions. There are four birth control pills that are FDA approved for the treatment of acne. These are effective for improving acne, yet they come with significant potential risks and they need to have extensive shared decision-making to learn if this is the best option. Seven, spironolactone, love this medication. It is another very popular acne treatment, especially for adult female acne. Studies show that it is effective at improving acne, maybe as effective as oral antibiotics, but it does come with some side effects. So again, shared decision-making is most important here. So these conditional recommendations now also include some of these additional categories with good evidence to show that they work for acne. Stay tuned because I am going to talk about the other categories that I want to consider later in this video. But first, now that we know the best of the best available treatments to treat acne based on the evidence and safety, let's talk about what to do with this information. This study suggests five what they call good practices for the treatment of acne. Let me explain each good practice in very simple terms. The first good practice for acne treatment is combination therapy. So combining multiple therapies targeting different aspects of acne into one treatment regimen works the best. An example of this would be an acne treatment regimen that combines benzoyl peroxide in the morning with a topical retinoid at night, or a benzoyl peroxide and a topical antibiotic, or a topical retinoid and a topical antibiotic. And this leads to good practice number two, which is systemic antibiotics like doxycycline, these should be used with benzoyl peroxide and other topical therapy, 
not just alone as a singular therapy. Good practice number three, speaking of oral antibiotics, it is recommended that oral antibiotic use is limited when possible to reduce the development of antibiotic resistance or other antibiotic associated complications. So that means we should think about using oral antibiotics for a short period of time combined with topicals to help gain rapid control of acne, then move off of the antibiotic and continue just on topicals to help maintain acne control. Good practice number four, the evidence supports the use of intralesional corticosteroid injection for singular large acne papules or nodules in addition to your acne regimen. This will help relieve symptoms of larger acne lesions that can be painful or of cosmetic concern. And lastly, good practice number five, according to the evidence, is that isotretinoin is recommended for severe acne or for those who have failed other acne treatments. Knowing these strong recommendations, along with the good practices, can treat and control most acne cases. However, many patients want to explore the other categories of acne treatments, like physical modalities, including acne extractions or chemical peels or lasers and light devices, microneedling and photodynamic therapy. Maybe others want to explore complementary and alternative medications like supplements and herbs. Maybe others want dietary changes or environmental interventions. But according to these 2024 guidelines, these other approaches did not make the list of strongly recommended acne treatments at this time. Now, this is not because these do not work, it is because there's just way less evidence and studies out there to suggest the benefit far outweighs the risk or the cost of these interventions compared to the quality of evidence on the other topical and oral ingredients that I mentioned earlier. So here is my opinion of these other categories of acne treatments. These should definitely be considered and discussed as part of your treatment plan. There should be what we call shared decision-making around all of the options and their pros and cons so that a treatment plan can be tailored to you, your skin, and your values. So this study really does give a helpful look into the evidence to support or not support common treatment approaches for acne. However, there are some limits to this study. First, this study is only looking at current evidence available. And as I mentioned earlier, there may be benefits to other treatments out there but they've just not been yet studied extensively. So the moral of the story is we need more research. I know acne is a complicated topic. I hope this discussion helped clear up some of the acne approaches that we as dermatologists use to help improve your acne. I have many of these approaches linked in the description of this video, along with the new really fun invisible pimple patches. You can check those out if you're interested. What questions do you have about acne? Do you want acne skincare routine videos? Let me know in the comments. Come say hi on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist and make sure you subscribe to my channel here before you head out and I'll see you next time. Bye.